If you allow other people's complaints to impact you in a negative way, it's your fault, not theirs. What is going on? Happy Thursday morning if you're listening to this when the podcast drops at 5 a.m. on Thursdays and Mondays. Uh, if you're listening to or I guess watching this on YouTube, uh, happy Thursday evening. Thursday evening. Uh, this obviously drops on YouTube at 5 o'clock at night. So 5 and 5, 5 in the morning for the podcast, 5 at night uh, for the YouTube channel. But um, happy Thursday. It is the Friday to Friday. Uh, Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hendrickson. And if you are brand new to this show, then what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health, self-development, and how to get your life moving in the right direction, feeling like, you know, if maybe you're not in the place you want to be in your life right now, then at least you're moving closer and closer to the person that you want to become. And if you are not new to this show, if you are a returning viewer or returning listener, um, you know, whatever way you digest this podcast, uh, thank you very much for coming back and supporting this journey, supporting the show, supporting this movement of basically making yourself stronger by at least 1% better every single day and along the way lifting other people up as well. And if you are, you know, regardless of if you're brand new or if you're returning to this, then thank you very much for coming here and supporting it. Uh, you are the reason that I do what I do. Yes, you watching this or listen to this. Um, but welcome to the show. It's Thursday today. Uh, we're just wrapping up our week here and it is getting hot in Vancouver. You know, we've had uh, 30 plus degree weather all week this week. I've been burning up in the sun. I, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I, you know, if you've listened to this podcast before, you kind of know what I do, uh, uh, on this, you know, as well as being, uh, the host of this podcast, I am also a carpenter by trade. And so I do, you know, renovations and restoration work and, and, and stuff like that. So this week I've been framing in a carport for one of our customers and doing some lattice, building some lattice and fixing a gate, building a shed, uh, doing all site types of, uh, you know, framing and woodworking outside in the sun. Uh, if you watching the video of this, you can see I'm a little bit sun kissed. I have got burns up and down my arms, up to my shoulders on my back. And, um, you know, I, I went to the lumber store today to get a bunch of cedar siding to, um, you know, put some siding on this shed that I've been building in the backyard of this person's house. And, uh, we're kind of making it a custom fit, uh, for this weird corner that they have at their house. But anyways, um, I go to the lumber store and I go to grab some cedar siding and uh, the the chick that's working there, she's behind the counter. She, um, you know, she's kind of complaining to us a lot about the heat. Me and uh, the guy that I'm working with kind of just look at each other. We're like, dude, you're sitting inside. We've been cooking in the heat. And, um, you know, it's, it's not to really compare different people's struggles. I mean, I, I've talked about this before in a couple of different interviews, like, you know, the, the, the hardest thing that you've gone through is the hardest thing that you've gone through. And so comparatively, um, whatever you're struggling with, obviously your struggle is personal and, and, uh, that's not what I'm trying to get to right now. But what I've noticed is there's a lot of people as the temperature rises here, we're getting closer and closer to summer. And, um, you know, we're, we're, like I said, like 30 plus degrees Celsius here. So that's pretty freaking hot. Uh, I don't know what that converts to in Fahrenheit because I'm not an American, unfortunately. But um, I'm noticing a lot of people complain about the weather, complaining about the heat, complaining about the temperature, you know. And um, my best guess is that these are the same people that would complain about the weather when it was wintertime, when we had snow all over the roads, when we had, uh, you know, negative 10 degree weather and and again, I work in construction, so we had water lines freezing, tools were frozen, compressors were frozen, and it made it really difficult to do our jobs. But um, 
what I notice is, you know, whether it's really hot and it's sunny and people are getting sunburnt or whether it's really cold and people are getting cold and there's car accidents on the road and delays when you're driving places, there's always people that are going to complain about the weather. And uh, I've, I've been one of those people before in the past as well. Like I've, I've kind of complained about the heat. I've complained about the cold. And I've realized that, you know, this is a cyclical thing. Like in Vancouver here, obviously, we get the privilege of dealing with many different seasons. We have, you know, a lot of rain here. We have a lot of sun here. We have snow here sometimes. We have all these different types of seasons And it's not really a surprise. Like every summer we get a big heat wave. Every winter we get a big snowfall. Every single, you know, spring and fall, it's tons of rain, tons of wind. We've had floods. We've had all these different things. And and I'm not saying that all of these things are always amazing to deal with. But what I am saying is it's no surprise. And the other side of it is as well is are you going to let these things dictate the way that you feel and the way that you behave, the way that you perform at your job, the way that you, you know, or or are you going to roll with the punches and understand that, you know, the weather is always going to change and there's no way that you can control it and to look for the bright side of things as well. Like, you know, I remember being a kid and, um, always watching movies of people in Hawaii or people on vacation in Mexico and, and doing all these cool things in like tropical areas that, you know, quite frankly, I never got to go and experience. And so, you know, I I feel like when it gets hot like this, I'm like, man, this is amazing. This is like vacation, but I didn't have to travel. I didn't have to pay anything. Like, this is such a cool experience. And in the winter, I do my best to just remind myself, like, hey, this is a winter wonderland. We're dealing with snow. I, I guess what I'm trying to say here, and this is probably going to be a short and sweet little episode, but I think that a lot of the times, and this is, again, a topic that I talk about far too often on this podcast, but I feel like it just needs drilling home with a lot of people. And even myself included, I need this reminder as well, is that, you know, you can only focus on controlling what you can control. Sometimes it's going to be super hot. Sometimes it's going to be super cold. And I notice that it's always the same people, you know, that are going to complain about the weather, no matter what the weather is. And so it's just a reminder to just kind of really just try and look on, you know, the bright side of life. Like there's, you know, you know, there's a lot of different way, many ways that you can look at this. Like at least we're blessed enough to have electricity. We can run a fan. We can run AC. Um, it's funny because you can literally see the sweat dripping on my arms here because I am really fucking hot. I don't have a fan or any, any AC in this room and there's a big window here and the sun's just beating down on me. But I... I um. You know, we we have the ability to get a nice glass of cold water. We have tons of different things that uh, we we have to be thankful for. And and the beauty of it is, is like, you know, in six months when it's winter time, you're going to be wishing that you had this heat back. You're going to be wishing that there was no snow on the roads. You're going to be wishing that it wasn't raining all day. You're going to be wishing for what you have right now. And I mean, probably six months ago, you were wishing for this. And now that you have it, it's like another thing to complain about. There's a lot of people that are just going to be happy, you know, either way, regardless of what's going on, the weather or whatever events happen in their life. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be complaining no matter what happens, no matter what the weather is, no matter what events happen in their life. You know, they could be struck with the best luck possible uh, or what you would consider to be best luck. And they'll be complaining about their issues. And you'll be like, dude, look at all the things that you have to be jealous about. And Again, uh, I've been talking a lot about stoicism recently because that's a lot of the stuff that I read about. But even in meditations, Marcus Aurelius talks about, you know, um, actually, I think it could be Seneca that talks about I should look this quote up, but uh, in in respect to time, I'm just going to try and wing it. Um, You know, he talks about, you know, not getting too caught up in material things, not getting too caught up in in your belongings and what you have and, and, uh, and the things that you feel jealousy of, of other people that they have. And to remind yourself that there's probably people that are jealous of things that you have, or maybe there was a time where you were jealous, you would be jealous of your current self with all the things that you have right now. And not to get too attached to all of these things, because, you know, realistically, you could lose them. So to feel gratitude for the things you have, but not so much gratitude that if you were to lose these things, that you wouldn't be able to find true happiness. And I think that that relates a lot to, you know, the weather or events or different things that you just won't be able to control in your life. Um, 
Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I was going to share a quote with you guys as well. This is kind of uh, along the same topic. It's from Musonius Rufus. Uh, that's a really tough name to say. Uh, I thought I would just kind of share this quote with you guys because it does relate exactly to what we're talking about today. Uh, he says, We must concern ourselves absolutely with the things that are under our control and entrust the things not in our control to the universe. And this is literally talking about exactly what we are talking about today in this episode, which is just understanding that, you know, if you can't control it, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Try not to stress about it. Think about what you can possibly do to make things better for you today. You know, and if there's nothing that you can possibly do, then maybe reflect on the things you should be grateful for already. And that, that could change your mind state as is and, and, and help you lead a happier life as well. And, um, you know, I guess for a, a more tangible step or something that you can take away from this as well is, um, you know, people are probably going to get annoyed if you just kind of point out that they should be grateful when someone's sitting there complaining about, you know, there's this heat, there's this, this cold, there's this thing that happened in my life that I can't control. And they're sitting there complaining to you. Uh, it's really easy to be the guy that's just like, yeah, well, look on the bright side. And uh, that's kind of where I seem to be a lot of the time. Like, I, I, I'm like that often. When people complain to me, I'm like, oh, no problem, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we have so much to be grateful for. And I just kind of brush off the uh, the, the idea of, of um, needing to complain or wanting to complain or wanting to vent. And, um, you know, some people are just looking for a soundboard. And so you just kind of listen to them. And it is what it is. But what I what I would remind you of is that there's always going to be someone that's going to complain, regardless of the condition, regardless of the events that happen in their life, regardless of, you know, they're just gonna, there's always going to be some complainers in your life and you're going to come across them uh, every single day, most likely. But um, what I would say to you is prep yourself, prep your mind for, again, this is something that I've talked about before in the podcast and it's something that, you know, Marcus Aurelius talks about in meditations is before you start your day, uh, you know, if, if you wake up early enough, uh, which I recommend doing, meditate and think about maybe journal or reflect and think about all the people that are that you're going to come across that could, you know, impact your your happiness or your state of mind. Meditate and think about how people can impact you and how people can kind of suck away your energy or your happiness and, and understand you're going to come across people that are going to be, you know, quote unquote, energy vampires and um, just kind of mentally prepare yourself for that and think about the idea that you are going to come across people that are going to annoy you throughout your day or, or try and bring you down, whether they're trying to or not, whether it's an intentional act or not, you're going to come across people that are going to suck a little bit of energy out of you like a little vampire. And um, the only person that can really control the way that you react is you. The only person that can control your happiness is you. The only person that can kind of, you know, impact your, your actual mind state is you. If you allow other people's complaints to impact you in a negative way, it's your fault, not theirs. And, um, you know, just kind of mentally prepare yourself for these things. That, that there's always going to be negativity around you, whether, you know, it's inside you or it's from someone else's mouth. And, and they're, they're saying things to you that kind of impacts you. Um, just prepare yourself for that in the beginning of your day. And the other thing is, obviously, you know, we all have bad days. I've been that person who complains as well. I've been that person that, that says, oh, wow, woe is me. Like, this is just my luck. I, I have the worst luck in the world. I've been that person as well. And so when you hear somebody being negative or, or complaining, you know, rem use that as a reminder of how it makes you feel when they complain to remind yourself the next time you're being ungrateful or you're complaining about something, be like, oh shit, I'm doing that thing again where I'm just basically sucking positivity out of the fucking world and bringing other people down. But also allow, to, allow yourself to forgive them and to give them grace and say, hey, they're just having a bad day. And also that's a reminder for you to give yourself grace and give yourself forgiveness and give yourself some love and say, hey, I might have been negative. I might have been, you know, um, not the best person to be around when I said that thing 
or did that thing uh, in the past little while and uh, just use that as a reflection point of like, hey, I don't want to do that again. And if you're fortunate enough or mindful enough to catch yourself in it the next time, you know, use that as a reminder. Be like, oh, I'm doing that thing again. And, you know, it doesn't make me feel like I'm the best person. And so I want to adjust my behavior. I want to adjust my attitude. And then, uh, you know, all most of these things come down to reflection, whether you're meditating well enough or, or you're me- meditating often enough or at all. Or maybe you're journaling or just any form of being reflective and mindful is going to help with this a lot. So um, just a little reminder for you guys that, you you know, there's always going to be things that, you, that, are, that are outside of your control. Uh, and just to roll with the punches and understand that things are cyclical, you know. And so if, if you uh, are unhappy about things the way they are right now, uh, just understand that it's bound to change whether it takes you know, two months, three months, six months, or a full year, these things are cyclical. And just remember as well that the way that things are right now, you probably wished for a change and you've just received it. And now you're just complaining because it's the uncomfortability of change. And I think that a lot of us can reflect and and probably appreciate the idea that, you know, your past self would probably be stoked to have some of the things that you have in your life today in the present moment, even if there's a lot of things that you're unhappy about, there's probably at least one thing in your life that, that your past self would do anything to have. And even if there is things in your life that kind of cause unhappiness or cause you to be ungrateful or to feel ungrateful, at least that's an alert. It's your 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 mind and your body telling you hey this is wrong and we need to change it if we can and if you're not able to change it then you have to have faith that the the universe or the lord or or whatever you believe in will have your back and so i think that's a beautiful place to wrap this up uh it is thursday today so happy friday it's the friday to friday Uh, Maybe you're listening to this tomorrow, and if that's the case, happy Friday. But if you're listening to this the day that it drops, happy Thursday. Uh, I will check you guys on Monday. Uh, That's pretty much all I have going on today. Uh, I hope you're doing well, and if you're not, reach out on Instagram. We still have the Risen Fallen uh, mental health hikes and walks going on every single weekend as well. So if you're interested in joining in on that or if you're interested in joining in on the group chat or the Zoom calls or anything else that we have going on, uh, reach out on Instagram. It's at Risen Fallen. If you want to support the movement, uh, you're not able to make it out for the meetups, uh, you can help. Um, you know, support the movement by grabbing a tea, grabbing a hoodie, grab one for your loved ones, grab one for yourself, grab one for your boyfriend, grab one for your girlfriend, grab one for your mother, grab one for your dog. Um, you know, all of those proceeds go towards, you know, funding the events that we do. And uh, sometimes it's just grabbing a coffee with a couple of good friends. And so uh, you can get that at risenfallen.com. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast version of this, rate it five stars and leave a little review. I do read every single one of the reviews and they mean a lot to me. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe and leave a little comment because like I said, I read all of those things and those really do mean the world to me. It really does help me, you know, by reminding me why I do what I do. And then uh, I really do appreciate it and, it and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for supporting this journey. Uh, That's all I got for today. I will check you on Monday. Much love and peace out.